Would you rather get blackmailed by your evil twin into posing as her so she can go off and have sex with a bunch of dudes, get into two car accidents that both end up in explosions, or have your mentally ill son fall off a cliff and break his head? Well, folks, don't decide yet, because in the Mexican telenovela La Usurpadora, you can witness all of that and more. And why is that? Well, because telenovelas are hell. Paulina's life sucks shit. She's a poor, honest woman who works at a country club picking up towels with ball sweat on them. She's dating this dude who's cheating on her and looks like Johnny Depp if he'd eaten too many bagels. And her mother looks like a cadaver and is dying the most painful death in the history of deaths. You'd think her life is bad enough, but in telenovelas, things can always get worse. One day, while she's cleaning pubic hairs from the bathroom stalls, she sees a glamorous lady stumble in, drunk as hell. So she looks at her and she's like, dude, you look just like me. And the other lady is like, shit, I do. Except I'm rich and hot and you're ugly. Look at those absolutely terrible visual effects. Immediately, the evil sister, who is a total garbage person, is like, listen, since we look alike, I'm going to blackmail you into moving into my house and pretending you're me because I'm sick of my boring husband and I want to travel and have sex with new penises. The good sister is a huge idiot, so of course she agrees to it. She moves into the evil sister's house where she has to pretend to be the mother of two annoying children and the wife to this guy who is like the Hulk but orange and tries to constantly make out with her, except she kind of likes it. In her new home, she meets the rest of the family, including Abuela Piedad, who is a raging alcoholic that holds scotch bottles like their babies and looks like a glamorous Ronald McDonald. Is this all dramatic enough for you? Well, wait, it gets worse. She soon finds out that her evil sister had been having an affair with this painter who had way too many spray tans. When she tries to cut ties with him, he tells her that he's been working on a nude portrait of her, where she has titties but no nipples. And if she doesn't keep having sex with him, he'll show everyone the painting. Now let's check in on the evil sister Paola, who's living la vida loca, drinking piña coladas and surrounded by men with huge banana penises. You won't believe this, but one night, while she's out with this rich guy who looks like a leather boot, she asks him if she can drive his car, to which he replies, you're wasted, but sure. And of course, she immediately crashes the car. Back to the good sister. Everyone in the family starts to like her because she's actually a good person. She cures Abuela's alcoholism in like one day. She rescues her husband's business by offering his angry and underpaid workers free sandwiches. She starts giving attention to her son, who's really bad at acting. And she ends her affair with the painter by having her husband punch him in the dick. Things seem to be going good for her. But because telenovelas are hell and no one can ever be happy, she begins feeling guilt for being an imposter and runs away from the house. When she leaves, her annoying son flips out and runs away until he falls off a cliff, hits his head, and breaks his brain. He gets rescued by some ladies who nurse him back to health by putting a band-aid on his concussion. When they return him to the house, he immediately falls off the stairs because he just loves falling off of things. The evil sister then comes back to the house pretending to be paralyzed so everyone will give her attention. And she makes weird ass noises like this. The good sister hears that her twin was paralyzed, so she comes back to be by her side because, well, she's a schmuck. At this point, everyone's like, holy shit, there's two of you. As if there wasn't enough blackmail in this telenovela, the evil sister gets blackmailed by a nurse who says, if you don't give me cash, I'll tell everyone that you're not really paralyzed. So the evil sister does what she does best and drives off the cliff. The car spins a thousand times and then explodes. But somehow, she doesn't have a single burn, not even one little scratch. She quickly and suddenly starts dying a really, really dramatic death and then peacefully dies after telling her sister she loves her. 
The nice sister is extremely saddened by the death of her twin, but not sad enough to prevent her from marrying her husband the very next day. During the wedding, everyone is happy, and this old guy gets too excited and almost falls over and breaks his hip. We hope they lived happily ever after, but they probably didn't, because this is a telenovela. And telenovelas are hell.